This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. After hours of discussion, Cal OSHA, the board, deciding to reverse its previous ruling on masks in the workplace. The board ultimately decided to keep the previous standards it had set back in November. Meeting social distancing and masks will still be required for everyone in the workplace, indoors or outdoors, regardless of vaccine status. Cal OSHA will meet next week, where further changes are likely to be made to this plan. Escondido City leaders passing a new budget, which includes more money for the police department, comes even after some community members rallied against that budget increase. A budget of more than $117 million sets aside $49 million for the police department, and that's roughly $2.7 million more than last year. Police chief says the increase would go toward adding six new positions. Some spoke out against the police budget, saying the money could be better spent on other services. Well, congratulations in order for San Diego Unified's class of 2021. Starting today through Monday, the district will hold graduation ceremonies for students at Petco Park. The in-person graduation ceremonies will allow students and families to mark this milestone together while following social distancing protocols. Festivities kick off this morning. Megan, congratulations to all the grads. That's definitely true for everybody that went to school this year and even last year under these pretty extraordinary circumstances that nobody else before you has had to go through. You should be very proud and enjoy your well-deserved summer break. A warm day in store for us with plenty of sunshine, 70s for the coast inland and mountain areas with 90s in the deserts. Things are going to be warming up this weekend, becoming much hotter next week as temperatures soar 5 to 15 degrees above average. An early taste of summer for the last week of spring, in fact. Dangerous heat will impact the desert areas next week with temperatures between 110 and 120. And we'll see 90s for our inland neighborhoods starting on Monday. Jim? Megan, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store.